to another YouTube video and it's the first one after Worlds. I just want to say sorry, I had a little bit of break. I'm going to tell you more about why afterwards. But uh, today is Wednesday, so you get to follow along on the deadlift session. But I thought I could do a little bit of a mini vlog as well on the way there and on the way home, like usual. Uh, so not so much training, but more so go over, well, what has been going on and what are my plans moving forward how did worlds even go if you're following me on instagram you already know i detail some of my thoughts there but i could go over here more in detail my thoughts about it how it went and everything since we are actually now i think it's nine weeks out from junior worlds in malta where i'll be doing the 63s as well so that's really exciting it's my last year as a junior so it's going to be my last junior worlds Ever. And, and I'm very excited for that. Worlds, like open worlds now really got me super motivated for it. So it definitely got me much more of a fire burning inside and I learned a lot. So I'm really happy. Like I decided to do open worlds like just, I think it was two weeks before I did nationals. So I wasn't planning on doing it. Most people, you know, they've, they've been planning to do worlds for a year. And, but I didn't know, so you know, I I wasn't sure I was gonna do it, and then I just decided to do it, and you know, it was a quick turnaround from nationals, but it still was my best prep ever, and that's the first time I've had like a a meet coming up after another meet with such a club, such a such a like short turnaround go so well, and I was 100% super strong on the day, but I learned a lot both from the prep. And obviously from the meet and some mistakes because I didn't achieve like what my goals were although I still did still like did win I went in knowing I had nothing to lose and everything to gain you know I I gained a world record but more on that later I'm actually gonna do my smoothie right now that I'm gonna have now because now that you know I'm back to training in the morning most days so I do a smoothie those days but it's also the thing for me basically that you know I actually a smoothie so time efficient so sitting down and having like a breakfast and eating that's like half an hour making a smoothie is like five minutes and then i can drink it while i'm working obviously now it takes more time but i haven't made a video in two weeks so i thought i could take the time today and so it's nothing crazy i just don't like eating at the moment so i actually put my snack that i usually had like between lunch and dinner into this smoothie as well just so that I can spend less time eating, but still like get enough macros in. So I'm gonna have six whole eggs, and uh, most people are gonna have egg whites. I like, I really like to have the egg yolk, and I could obviously have been, have had like, oh, I need to count. That's six, that's six. <laughs> and so most people, you know, they would have like basically, probably like lots of egg whites and maybe like one egg yolk, but. I, I'm a high fat person and when I'm dieting what I do is I've started to just like basically fry my lunch and dinner in less fat and then I can still have my whole eggs. So it's just like a matter of planning and I feel like what I'm frying my food in is not as important kind of it's not the, it's not as important as fats. Like the egg jokes have way more of it, you know, way more nutrients. And I feel really good. Like I try to have like milk options, protein powder, whatever, but my stomach doesn't like it. Eggs, I can digest it really well. So I have two deciliters of oats. I could have more because so now I actually have to eat like two bananas in a whole day in order to get what I need. I'm also gonna have like very little water and that's just to make sure like the, basically I want the eggs to not have, because when you have raw eggs in a smoothie, if you just have them, with just a little bit of water will make it like the consistency. If you just have eggs, it's a, a bit, I don't know, it's thicker, but like, it's a weird consistent, I can't describe it. It doesn't taste anything when you have eggs in, by the way. So it's a really simple way. And then I have a little bit of salt and a lot of cinnamon because I like cinnamon. And uh, then I'm just gonna have lots of berries. So usually I would have like, these are blueberries, they're thicker, which I like, because then this one gets more frosty. And I'm gonna have strawberries, and then I'm gonna have blackberries. And uh, this actually, I started with it yesterday, but it like went, got my smoothie from like a, 
6 out of 10 in taste to a 10 out of 10. Because they're way sweeter, so it, ugh, it became a lot of berries, but I love that. That's gonna make it real frosty and taste good. And then I got Swedish local honey, and I'm just gonna have a, tea, a teaspoon of that as well, just to get it a little bit sweeter. So I don't weigh this, but I know this is like seven to 10 grams because I've done it a thousand times. All right, here we go. And it's done. So now I'm just gonna mix it and then I'm gonna put it in here. Actually, just gonna drink this blackberries makes it so much better it tastes so good and so it literally I used to not like really like it, it was you could get it down but it wasn't like mmm but now it's like I enjoy it and that makes me excited for it each and every morning and so that was actually my morning smoothie now I need to get to work and then I'm gonna be training later in the afternoon because as usual I have to get into the gym for the late so I'll see you later on. All right, so I'm in the car right now. We just went for a walk and it's raining a lot right here. So it was a lot of sun in the morning and now it's raining like crazy. And but so I'm heading to the gym right now. We got deadlifts and I started my training back last week. So I had five days of rest afterwards and then I started my training back. And uh, so I did the first deadlift session back yes, la not yesterday, last week and 200 flew but we'll see what's there today i think it's like rp7 ish so nothing like crazy crazy and but let's say i did 200 last week and unless 200 was an overshot for the rp and i went too heavy which i don't think because it was so easy i hope i should be able to do 205 207 and a half we'll see maybe it's 200 uh, i'll accept what's there on the day but uh, that's definitely the goal and try to just be uh, making sure I rest enough between the sets that's the point and like enter get good sets in and, and not push too hard since I got another meet again you know in eight nine eight weeks nine weeks I think it's nine weeks <laughs> until Malta and um, but since I got another meet soon you know I can't go crazy now and not that it would have been the case anyhow even if I didn't have a meet going crazy now wouldn't be a smart thing to do but either way so I want to kind of hold back a little bit just build back momentum work on my weaknesses for now before we start peak again so we're getting into comp mode and comp prep next week so this is like a middle week sort of thing and then we're getting into comp prep next week and then you know peak like four ish weeks out but so yeah I'm gonna see you in the gym for deadlifts <laughs> Now I'm done with deadlifts, so I got actually got three heavy sets of dumbbell rows, and this block, my the last block when I had a dumbbell row, so I focused more on trying to like increase the weight, and this block I want to make it heavier by being stricter. So that's my goal, being as strict as possible and uh, trying to increase weights in that sense instead, uh, or increase the difficulty level and RP, uh, just so that I like. You know, don't just run after heavy weights in the dumbbell rows, but like actually make sure I use the right muscles. But deadlifts, I only did 200 for the single. I did it, it felt a little bit like, okay, it's within the RP, 
but it doesn't feel as good as last week. And so I looked at the video, the video looked super easy. So I was like, okay, I should go up. But then I took some time to think and uh, it does feel a little bit worse than last week. And yes, I could have gone heavier, but going heavier would mean that it would be like an RP, more than RP7. And it would have been an overshoot, even though I would have gotten it and it would have been a good single. And the main thing is like, I got a meet coming up not too far away so it's like like i said malta and junior worlds is not too far away so you know i am next week i'm i am gonna get into meat prep again very soon so i think like what i do now it doesn't really matter but the one thing i don't want to do right now is go too heavy and so i just decided to okay also i am go getting my period sometimes sometime at the end of this week and i have been having a lot of pms and it has affected my sleep and that sometimes happens for me like the week before my period i can be more tired and i don't have as good energy and i'm more my mental focus and energy isn't as good and then sometimes it also affects my street my sleep and i feel more stressed and obviously that sometimes doesn't affect my training sometimes it does so i think that's like just the reason why i'm not feeling so 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 good although last week i felt amazing and why there's such a difference because i haven't like gone heavier i should be feeling better and um, so that's why however for my sixes last week i did 170 kilo for two sets of sixes but this week instead i actually did three sets of sixes at uh, 180 so 10 kilos heavier than last week so and they felt good so I instead like i increase my backups and the reps that actually are what gets me stronger like the single is more practice the reps are what gets me stronger so i did 10 kilos more on those than last week so that's a good increase so i still got a lot of progressive overload and this was actually a better session than last week although i felt stronger so i got a god i got good work done got the work done for today so now i got dumbbell presses i got lat pull down uh, actually with a underhand grip and then i am gonna do a rehab exercise that i did not put in before worlds because it was so close to worlds when i got it and so i am gonna put it in now a little bit and then i'm gonna stop doing it like four weeks out and um, so that i can kind of go heavy in it because my pt wanted me to kind of do it heavy it's like a land my reverse squat kind of thing for my glutes and uh, but I'll show you that later. Now let's get going for the dumbbell rows and see how those goes. Alright, so now I'm done for today and I'm gonna walk home. I'm gonna head by the store, but <sighs> happy. It was a good session. So I didn't film my lag pull downs and I won't talk for too long because I got, hold on, I got five percenters of battery on my camera because I thought I was loading it, but this camera doesn't load if it's on and I left it on, on when I was, while I was loading it. So I'm short on battery, but um, good session overall and so the exercise I did in the in the end is like mainly for me it's mainly for my left side but I do the right side too but I do an extra set on my left side and left side looks way worse like it feels kind of the same but it definitely doesn't look like as good as the right side but my left side basically I got groin issues I got knee issues and I got shoulder issues and I got lower back issues on my left side. So, you know, I'm basically worse off on my left side. They think that it may be because my right ankle, the mobility of my right ankle is like worse. Could be, could not be. Uh, either way, so the left side is definitely worse. So I need to try to activate my glute a little bit more because I can help more with my groin. So I'm trying to do this exercise because I'll be able to in time go heavy. I just did the bar because it was the first time for me doing it now. Um, and I just felt like I was gonna get sore anyway. And I'll increase to maybe like 20, 40 kJ or something and see how heavy we can go on that one next week. Um, either way, so it was a good one. What I wanted to talk about before my battery rounds out real short is, well, Worlds, how did it go? Obviously, I got fourth. And um, so as I said, I was nominated 
I think I was nominated fifth, but I knew that that total, I was nominated with 500 kJ. And you know, I've done 521 and a half. So with the total that I actually had done and knew I could do, I was nominated fourth. Then I got fourth and I got the world record, junior world record in my opening poll. I didn't know so, but so I'm not gonna go all through the meet because I've already done so on Instagram, but more so like, I'm disappointed, of course, mainly because I feel like I could have done better. Like I was 100% on the day. I was so much stronger on the day. And I felt like I was not confident enough to go heavier in the squad or the bench. I had sort of a pre-planned idea of what I would be able to do to come standard. And you know, it's not sure that, like the thing is, it wouldn't necessarily have changed anything let's say I did more in the squat let's say I did more in the bench because I had more kilos there I still may have gotten fourth but I would have been happier then if I would have gotten those lifts and gotten fourth then you know now knowing that I didn't even do it because I was kind of you know because I was not confident enough to do them and that's just like the one thing I'm thinking about so I'm proud of the experience I learned a lot and uh, I'll probably talk through like every video that I do from now on because honestly my camera is ran out of battery so I'm sorry I don't have more time to go through worlds but I'll do so in upcoming videos and walk through my thoughts and lessons that I've learned but I learned a lot I'm thankful for everyone for all of your support thank you so much we got Malta we got Junior World so let's continue for that and I'll see you next week in the next video so take care in the meantime